He was about to open the half open door but he heard his mom talking to someone on the call What do you mean she came back to the city kill She stopped talking and cut the call as she noticed Jungkook on the doorstep Jungkook came in while standing outside she said and tried to act normal Mom let's go we are getting late isn't it He said and his mom calmed down after knowing that he hadn't heard anything but something she doesn't know that he already heard it but just ignored it His mom nodded and they all left for the meeting After reaching the company they all went towards his dad's office So Jungkook don't worry I know it will be your first time to attend the meeting but over there you just have to state your opinion nothing else okay Jungkook nodded and after a few minutes the PA came inside Mr John everything is ready and the meeting will start at 11 am as Mr and Mrs Shin's daughter just landed His dad nodded. In the meeting, currently the meeting is going on, and everyone is discussing about the recent project. And Jungkook is playing Candy Crush on his phone as he has no interest in the meeting stuff. Working with Mrs. Shin's company would be profitable for us. His dad explains. Indeed it would be a great deal. They all started speaking but in between Mrs. John spoke. Jungkook he looked up. Are you bored? He shook his head before saying. I'm good. He gave a little smile at last. You sure? He nodded. Um, why don't you just have a cup of coffee with Hazel? He hesitated for a moment but eventually agreed as there were a bunch of people in the meeting room and he didn't want to put his mother down. Okay, Shin Hazel and Jungkook left towards the canteen. In the canteen he was slurping coffee for the last 15 minutes without saying anything so she decided to take the lead. I'm Jungkook. I heard you're going a masters in MBA. She said while taking a sip of her coffee. Yeah, he simply answered. So I guess you know that our parents want us to get married for the profit of our companies. He got shocked as of cause his mom said it was just a board meeting, but he now realizes This is a blind date and he just nodded as yes which he de- really didn't know and I really think that you're a perfect match for me I mean after a few years we both take over the company she smiled and waited for his response should i be honest she nodded but i think you're not perfect for me and i'm not going to take over any company she got shocked but before she could say something he spoke first I will take my leave now and it was nice meeting you Mr. Shin he said emotionally and left from there Hazel called someone on the call while she winced What happened don't tell me date wasn't good you chuckled Yes, that's what I was going to say. He was pretty cold by nature and he didn't even spoke anything until I started the conversation. You were listening to her silently. Bro, take a chill pill. First of all, tell me, did you find him attractive? You said, which she instantly replied. He was goddamn beautiful, but his attitude sucks. Like he even ignored me. Her words made you to frown. Who is it? How dare he ignore my beauty? Hazel blushed at your words. Yeah, shut up or else I will eventually fix my marriage with you instead of that golden rude. You both laughed. 
On the other side, Jungkook listened to me once, my son, she said while walking fastly behind her angry son. I never expected you to do this, mom. I didn't come here for such stuff, but just to spend some time with you all. He said while turning around and facing her while his dad didn't say anything in between cause he didn't have idea about Mrs. John's plan. Why don't you just get married to her? She is a very pretty, elegant lady and overall she is going to take over the company as well. Her words made Jungkook even more furious. Why can't you understand that? I don't want to get married. After hearing this, she raised her voice on him. Isn't it because of that girl Wyan? She said angrily. Yes, cause I love her and only her. Seeing his furious side, Mr. John had to step in between their argument. He just sighed Jungkook to go upstairs in his room and so that he can handle his wife. Jungkook went towards his room and slammed his door hard, which made them both lynch hard. I never thought you would do this to him. After hearing her husband's words, he turned towards him. But Mr. John spoke in between. There is no but in between. His happiness matters more than our respect and image in society. He said and left the Mrs. Jones who was burning in anger. I surely have to do something now. After whispering it to herself, she pulled out her phone and called someone immediately. Hello, check your WhatsApp. I want to tell evening. Okay, ma'am. Mrs. John hung up the call. Tonight at Jungkook's room, as usual, he is standing on the balcony while admiring the surrounding. But suddenly someone called him from behind and he turned around. He sighed and started walking towards outside as he don't want to argue again but her words made his steps to halt. Don't you wanna know the reason for her absence? He immediately turned around and stood in front of her, waiting for her to speak. Forget her, Jungkook, she's a cheater. He widened his eyes. What rubbish are you talking, mom? But she took out some photographs and threw it on the teapot table, making the picture to get shattered. If you don't believe me then here, see yourself. I have always had doubts now. Here is the proof. Look how she had cheated you multiple times and that's why she left without saying anything. While she was telling him all this, his shaking hands go to grab the pictures but it was all true. The pictures look too real to even defend your sight. One tear left his eyes and second one following the first and like this his eyes became red and heart started breaking into God knows how many pieces the woman whom he trusts with all he had broke him like his heart doesn't hold any value. Did you see how she was just using you all these years and she got bored? She then left you without giving any reason but Jungkook didn't respond because he was fighting with his heart and feelings. Take your time my son and think again about the marriage proposal. It's not too late to move on from such a cheap person. She wrapped his head and left the room. But somewhere he still can't accept this no matter what. After all you were his first and last love cause he will not be same ever again. That night, he cried a lot, cried till he choked on his own saliva multiple times. After a few days, since the day he came to know what you did behind his back, he became all silent and now they all are having breakfast. 
Dad, I'm thinking of going back to London. He said while eating his food, but his dad immediately looked up at him. Hey, didn't you say your vacations last few months? Then why suddenly you're leaving early? Jungkook looked at his dad. I just don't feel like staying here. Please, dad, don't force me. He said, and his dad just nodded simply and started eating his breakfast. Did you thought about Hazel? She said, shamelessly knowing how broken he is from inside. No. He stopped in middle when he realized that you cheated on him. Yes, I'm ready. He said, which was unexpected for his parents. Really? He nodded. Okay, then I will let her family know and let's go to her house and discuss it. He just nodded, making his mother squeal in happiness at Hazel's place. They all entered inside the house and Mrs. Shin got up from the couch before welcoming Jungkook's family inside. I'm so glad to see you all here, he said and called Hazel. After all, we have to now become business partners from relatives. They all laughed in a group while Jungkook was silent the whole time. Hazel started walking down from stairs and Mrs. John poked his shoulder to make him look at her and when he did notice someone else coming down along with her which made his body to get numb on the spot and the person was none other than you. And when you look up, your heart tends to stop beating for a whole damn minutes. And the cherry on top is Mrs. John widened her eyes after seeing you cause. She warned you years ago to not again visit Sor. Come, she mouthed to you and you go behind her. So, the one whom my bestie is getting married is the one with whom I dreamed my marriage with. But how will I tell Hazel, even though I told Hazel about my past, but still the identity of Jungkook was hidden. Your point of view ends. You came back to your senses once you heard Hazel's voice. When she called you out and you quickly went beside her and stood while hanging your head low cause you know the consequences you have to face now. When his father called you out shockingly, do you know her John? Just when Mr. John was about to reply, but Jungkook spoke in between. No, we don't. After all, how will we? He said these words while staring at you who was avoiding him. Yes, yes, we don't, she said, and she was glaring at you, which Mr. John noticed. Okay, now let's start with the discussion. They all nodded, except for Ryan, Jungkook, and Mr. John. They started talking about the venue, return gifts, and the date for marriage, and many more things which were hurting me a lot, cause... You can't ever imagine this thing to happen ever in your life so you thought to talk a walk. I will be right back, you whispered to Hazel who seems to get lost in his beauty and she just nodded. We went inside the garden and started taking a walk and started thinking about how to move on from him. You only heard a voice which was none other than Jungkook's, you closed your eyes to prevent the tears from falling and turned around while facing him. He came closer to you and you were just staring in his eyes while wishing hard for him to become yours again but the only thing you noticed in his eyes was hatred and disgust which made your heart ache. Hello wine, long time no see, he said while smiling but his smile wasn't sweet but it was more like in a sarcastic way. Why? This was the only word he said and came closer to you. What? You wish but don't act innocent. He said and pulled you in a kiss. The kiss was harsh and rough, which was not like a normal one cause he was putting all his anger through the kiss. And you pulled away with a hiss as a bit here in anger which made it but he didn't stop here. He just pulled you closer and grabbed your waist. 
Did he touch you here, here, or here? You might have enjoyed a lot, didn't? His words got hurt when you pushed him away and slapped him hard. But he raised his hand and put it down as he can't hit his loud, doesn't matter, even if you would have cheated or something. I don't really care and you know what I'm here for to tell you that I'm appointing you as my marriage planner. He said but you refused. No I can't do it, please find someone else. He said and was about to go from there but he pulled you back to your place by your elbow. I'm not asking you but telling you, he said and started walking without hearing your response. Even you rushed inside the mansion and asked Hazel's mom. Auntie, can you please find someone else as the marriage planner? But she refuses. That's what I was saying to them. Let's appoint someone else, but not her. No, Ryan, baby, what's wrong? Aren't you interested in planning your own best friend's marriage? Her tone sounds a little upset. I will happily do it, auntie. She smiled at you and Jungkook's mom rolled her eyes. That's like my girl and now you have to plan many more things, okay? You nodded. That's like my girl and now you have to plan many more things, okay? You nodded. After a few days, now you are standing inside the marriage hall while guiding the workers in the decorations. I saw the red flower and white as well. You were smiling the whole time, but just you yourself know your heart aches from inside. You suddenly thought of going towards the balcony for some fresh air. Now you are standing while feeling the cool breeze of air fanning on your whole body, but to disturb your moment, someone stood beside you. You look in that direction and the person was none other than Mrs. John standing beside you and you immediately thought to leave but her words made your steps halt. Didn't I tell you to not come here ever again then why did you enter my son's life like this? You faced her. I'm sorry Mrs. John but I never intended to come here and I didn't know that Hazel was going to get married to Jungkook or else I would have never come to Seoul. You explained to her while being scared. Okay, just leave as early as possible and let my son live his life peacefully. You nodded and was about to leave, but she again stopped you. Wait, one more important thing. Remember, in the past, I told you to break up with him without giving him for any reason. But now he will surely ask you the reason, so you have to see that you cheated on him and slept with Stop right there. Don't say anything further, you shameless lady. Mrs. John turned around after hearing her husband's voice and everyone now started looking at you all. Didn't you feel even a little bit guilty after destroying your own son's happiness? He took large steps towards her and stood in front of her. But she, he again spoke in between. What she, huh? In fact, I self heard that you are the one who did this all. She then stopped her act after knowing that the truth was disclosed. So what you want me to do, huh? Set the marriage of my son with poor third, a sound of slap across the hall. Choose your words wisely. You still didn't change, right? As always, you want just fame and money. He said, but Junker came running towards you after all knowing that an argument is happening between his parents. Then what's wrong? He said while coming closer and looking at you then his mother. Ask your mother. Jungkook went closer to his mom. Mom, what happened? But she didn't spoke anything. His dad How started well explaining everyone her? from the start to the end, making Jungkook's heart to get shattered in thousands of pieces. When his most thirst-worthy person betrayed him and the one he doubted was the victim. 
Instead of shouting at his mother, he went near you and he held your cheeks. I have no words to say. Please forgive me, love. I failed to save our relationship. Tears started building in his eyes. I have no words to say. This marriage is cancelled. As Mr. and Mrs. Shin along with Hazel heard everything, they just accepted their fate. Just then you saw Hazel's family. Hazel. Wine, don't feel bad about me. Mine is just an attraction, but yours is true love. If I have known Jungkook is your love, I would have stopped this marriage at first. It's enough. You both suffered so much. Don't reject him for a mere misunderstanding which was created by someone. You looked at Jungkook who was feeling guilty for a misunderstanding you because of his mother. After all, we are human. Sometimes even eyes would betray us. This is what happened with Jungkook. But you know, he still loves you. Yes, please forgive me, Wine. I'm ready to take any punishment. We felt his voice genuine. Please, daughter, forgive us, he said and joined his hands in front of you, which made you immediately hold his hands. Please don't say this, uncle. You didn't do anything, you said, and he spoke. Will you marry my son and your love? He said with the hoping eyes, but your answer made everyone happy. You were staring at Jungkook's eyes, and even he was scared of your rejection. Yes. Just when you answered that, Jungkook pulled you in a bone-crushing hug. You never know how I spent sleepless nights without you, how I craved to take you in my arms again. It still haunts me. I love you. He cried out while saying this, still hugging you tightly. I was helpless. I'm sorry. I couldn't fight for our love. Please forgive me. He pulled away and said, You are not at fault, princess. Don't say sorry. You both were looking deep into each other's eyes, telling each other the pain you both suffered from. I love you more. You wish for these four magical words while tears streaming down your face. He grasped his lips on yours while you slowly, steadily, after a whole five minutes, you both pulled away. After the kiss, Jungle faced his mother with anger. Get lost from here before I call up all this. Please forgive me, Jungkook. I realized I did wrong with you. But he had greed of money and reputation was over me. Please, my son. Jungle cut her words. Don't call me your son. I'm breaking all my ties with you from now onwards. Hearing this, his mom started crying. After four months, you and Jungkook are now happily married to each other. And since that day, Jungkook even left his parents' house with you and purchased an apartment for you both. And the main point is his mother is still not forgiven by both of them. Currently, Jungkook is cooking food for you as you are on periods, and you are sitting on the couch while watching dramas on the TV. But soon you heard the doorbell ringing, so you got up. Once you opened the door, the person in front of you made your body go numb, so you quickly called Jungkook. Jungkook, he shouted while staring at the person, and Jungkook quickly came. Yes, who is that? His words held after seeing the person in front of him. His expression turned into anger. Why are you here? Can you get satisfied after playing with her feelings or you want something else as well now? But she shook her head. No, my son, please. He cut her words in the middle. I already said I'm not your son. Her heart shattered in pieces after realizing how much she broke him. I'm here to ask for forgiveness. Please forgive me. I realize my mistake now. Please don't do this to me, son. I request you. Please forgive her. Look, she realized her mistake. Don't give her a lifetime pain to suffer. Ma. That's your weakness, baby. You always feel mercy for others, no matter how badly they've treated you. I'm forgiving you just because she says so, but don't expect me to talk to you. He said and went inside the house. Thank you so much, daughter. I owe you a lot. She joined her hands in front of you both. You were quick enough to hold it. It's mom, no oh, sweetie. You smiled at her and you both hugged each other. I'm sorry for playing with your feelings now. I realized. He nodded, agreeing with her.